Hello, Pally. Today is Thursday, January 20th, 2022. And In Focus starts right now. Welcome to In Focus. I'm Sarp Kenderly. And I'm Tori Kaliba. We hope you're having a great day so far, Pally. Hey Tori, have you been able to purchase a 2122 Pally Madrona yearbook yet? Not yet, but I'm planning to buy it before the price increase on January 31st. Attention Pally, reminder that the price to buy a Pally Madrona yearbook will increase to $90 after January 31st. Visit pallymadrona.com to order your yearbook today. Also, senior polls nominations are due February 1st, so don't miss it. The Pally Badminton team will be hosting tryouts from Monday, January 31st to Friday, February 4th. We're looking forward to growing our roster, especially our girls' team, so even those with no experience are welcome. Also, be sure to come to our preseason meeting at lunch on Monday, January 24th in room 805 to learn more about our team and the upcoming season. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Hey Pally students, would you like more plant-based options at the school cafeteria? Your classmates are campaigning for one plant-based option per day. This ensures that every student has access to food that aligns with their dietary needs and religious beliefs. It also supports a greener environment if you are in support. Sign the petition posted on the Pali Library School page and share, share it with your friends and family. There are three scholarships with upcoming deadlines the Black College Expo Writing Scholarship, and the APIASF Scholarship Program. Both have a deadline of this Saturday, January 22nd. Additionally, the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority San Jose Alumni Chapter Scholarship has a deadline of next Monday, January 24th. The art of glass blowing is only offered in a few high schools in the country, with Palo Alto High School being one of them. In Focus reporter Declan Baker was able to talk with Mr. Steven Ferreira, this glassblowing teacher at Pali, and a few students in the class about their experiences and the process of making this extraordinary art. Steve Ferreira, I am the instructor for uh, glassblowing, ceramics, and sculpture. Hi, I'm Charlotte Neroyan, and I'm a senior. Um, and I'm Kyla Schwarzbach, and I'm also a senior. Palo Alto High School is lucky to have one of the few glassblowing programs in the country. We interviewed students from glassblowing class as they talked about their love for glassblowing. I think it's super cool, um, especially at this AP level, uh, the freedom you have to pursue like a lot of different projects. It's just like a really um, cool class. This is definitely one of my favorite classes this year. Um, it's really cool to get to do glass blowing and to get the resources that we have. I just don't know like anyone else who's able to, you know, glass blow or flame work. Glass blowing is an extremely hard and dangerous process. Mr. Fur, the glass blowing teacher at Pally, explains the process of blowing glass. Um, so it starts uh, in bags when we get it, and it's powder, and we throw it into the furnace. We turn the furnace up to about 2,000 degrees, and it melts. So it's basically like a big pot of molten glass that's 2,000 degrees, and it's very much similar to like the consistency of honey. So uh, you stick a pipe in it, a blow pipe. Um, it's, which is just a long steel rod and you kind of gather up a scoop of it on the end of the rod just like you might um, dip into like a honey pot and you got to kind of twist it, get it around the rod and then you pull it out uh, and then what you do with it at that point is really up to you. You can um, sculpt it into something, you can blow air into it and create like a cup or a vessel, some kind of vessel shape. Um, yeah, and that's kind of like the, the basics of what it starts out as until you get it out onto the bench. And then you have to continuously keep reheating it because it obviously cools down. Um, so we have these big holes that are super hot, about 2,000 degrees, that you're constantly putting the pipe back into and bringing it back out and reshaping it. So when you take it over to the bench to work on it, you have anywhere from like... Um, you know, on average, like a couple minutes to manipulate the glass before it cools down to the point where you have to reheat it. So it's kind of just this dance you do back and forth between the uh, glory holes that heat the glass up and the bench where you actually make the physical work. 
As you heard, glass blowing takes a lot of precision and hard work, but it's very fun and there are a lot of opportunities for you to be creative. For In Focus, I'm Declan Baker. That does it for today's show. Be sure to check out our website to view old episodes, read the bulletin, or to send us an email. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch previous content and follow us on Instagram to engage with our content. Until next time, I'm Sarp Kenderly. I'm Tori Kaliba and this has been In Focus. Have a great day, Vikes.